What's happening people? Welcome to another video with all sorts and check this out. This is the new HK9 Ultra 2. The first you're going to see on my all sorts channel so make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above as i always put up sneak peeks on what to expect on all sorts and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when i upload any video you'll actually be notified so let's take a look at what this ultra 2 smartwatch is like It is overall looks really nice the design is similar it also has antenna band across the screen as you can see you would take a look at the back you've got text and sensors around with also the watch band buttons and also the real screws as well so to switch this on you have to push in the crown hold it in until you get welcome and there you go it also gives you a, um, a voice note when you actually switch it off. So as you can tell, it has got a dynamic island notification bar at the top. So that's when you see notification, but we'll check that out when we connect it to the phone. But you have got some really cool watch faces. So if you hit this guy in the nose, it'll just fall down. Yeah, let's check out the watch faces, bearing in mind. So you've got a few watch faces already installed. You've got the AI watch face. We'll check that out when we uh, connect it to the app. So you've got AI watch faces. Uh, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got nine already watch faces and you can also edit these to whatever color you like. Press it. If it's working, there we go. So that's to go back. Let's go back into that one and click this one. Does it work? And check out the animation of the seconds. It's not like a tick, it's just nice and smooth, which is cool. Cool. Uh, but yeah, that it has got some good features. It has got AMOLED display, which is really, really smooth. And it's got a new chip with a new uh, user interface, as you can see, which I'll show you. Does this have so yeah, it's got shooting stars when you hit the screen. So yeah, let's uh, um, show you some of the features. So swiping it down will bring you a message notification. As you can see, it's see-through window, which goes straight to your watch face. Swiping it to the right, you can choose two different swipe rights, which meaning uh, you can have the split screen or this screen, which gives you the notifications of all your apps. So you can bring up all your apps and your timers and stuff like that, uh, which is cool and go to settings. So you can actually choose between that in the settings, which I'll show you. Swiping up brings that up again and all of the apps here which brings you up to the uh, menu uh, menu which you can also use with the crown. Swiping it to the left will bring up your show cut. So as we're in heart rate, let's check it out. Christmas flashing lights going daft at the back. Will this have a sensor? Uh, which a pressure sensor at the back or will it just have a timer built-in timer which gives you a reading so please wear a watch to measure so as you can tell it it does have a sensor so let's uh, hold it in hard onto the box and let's see if it gives us a reading from there and if it does you, you always know that it, these actually don't show you accurate readings they just show you a false reading with all of the health apps. So as you can see, holding it hard on the box gives you a um, 79 beats per minute on that box. And you actually have got some new interfaces when it comes to the heart rate. Swiping it again. Uh, doesn't do anything. 
Also, yeah, it brings up your sleep pattern, your, also your weather, which you need to connect to your QR code, and also your uh, music. So, with this music player, as I told you earlier in the information, it has got 2 gig of memory, so you can store voice notes, uh, music, pictures, whatever you like. I don't want to play the video, uh, the music, because it's already got some music already installed. Look how much music it's got. You can also uh, put in music from your... Um, you can do the repeat. You've also got volume, which is nice and smooth. And you can also uh, put um, listen to music from your earphones uh, or your phone or your uh, smartwatch. So that's a really good feature to have because it has got two gig of memory, which is cool. So pushing in the crown brings it back to the main uh, menu. And let's push in the power. Well, this is supposed to be the power button, but that brings up your shortcuts. Now you have got a few shortcuts here. We'll take off uh, Bluetooth. You have got tell to wake. You've always got always on display. You've got do not disturb. You've also got a QR code where you can download the app. And you've also got a voice recorder, which I've already uh, made a quick recording. Make sure you follow me, tap the screen, share out the live. I'm like. Yeah, there you go. As you heard him, so here's cool. You can also edit and add and delete mode as well. So you can add your lock screen, your Alipay, because it has got NFC. You can add your uh, lock, um, silent and loud, alarm clock. You can add your short remote as well. Uh, torch, brightness, battery. Uh, chat GPT and GPS positioning and also settings because uh, this has the latest 2.0 chat GPT which I'll show you so yeah that is uh, pushing the crown brings up your uh, menu interface let's see how much menu interface it actually has so that's one that's two really nice three this is a nice one as well which gives you a nice animation in the background four which is like a similar smart view but it's like a long long one and this is the smart view which you can also zoom out as well and then zoom back in into a, a app there you go and there we go so that's how much uh, menu interfaces has so it has got an app market where you can download apps because it has got games as well so you can uninstall and install apps ai watch face we've got to connect it to the app which i'll show you later local music which i already showed you as well and you can put watch music or mobile music which is cool um, you've also got your voice memo which i showed you uh, chat gpt 2.0 so you can actually have a smart q a and you can also have a um, normal ask questions um, intelligent creation so we'll check that out when we connect it to the app instruction for use uh, we have to connect it to the app for that the the, the uh, smoothness of the screen is very very good it's all latest all the latest information all the latest chipset all the latest user interface all in this ultra 2 smartwatch so you got your smart memo You've also got voice memo as well, chat GPT, smart memo, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, sport mode, which we'll check on that button, left button later. You can actually also change that. You got your sleep pattern as well. Uh, swiping it back doesn't take you back to the same place, which is a bit of a nightmare. Activity record as well. So look at that new animation, which is cool. And you can store all the information on there and it'll go straight to your um, app once you connect it to your app. So you've got your phone which you can add your uh, contacts, recent calls, you can make calls, you can receive calls, you can receive notification on your calls as well. So there's loads of stuff. I need to make more videos um, of this watch because it's just gonna be too long to show you each application because uh, there's a lot to go through with this watch. So please bear with me. You got a breathe, a remote camera as well. So most of it you have to connect to the app. Uh, you've got calendar, messages, settings, we'll go to settings last, you've got games, you've got two games already on it, B fly. basically this is like flappy birds where you just got to tap the screen to keep the bed up, if you didn't know that, uh, that's B fly. Uh, let's go down, you got your timers, calculators, drain, which is similar to the original as well, stopwatch, uh, you've also got voice assistant or Siri, whatever you got uh, uh, activated on your phone, compass, you can actually use this on Android and any iOS device, so you got your compass mode, uh, you've also got your wallet, 
uh, which is Alipay and PayPal, whatever you got activated as well. Uh, blood sugar, a GPS positioning, uh, that free and airplane war. So that's another game as well, which I think is an airplane game. Look how smooth the screen is, really nice. So that is the me menu of this uh, HK9 Ultra 2. Now what we're going to do is connect it to that WearFit Pro app. We booted up the WearFit Pro app, so the bad thing about this app is also got advertisements on it. So that's no good, is it? So go into add device, make sure your Bluetooth is on. Let's add a device, as you can see with that. Let's go into scanning, so let's make sure Bluetooth is on on this one yeah i took it off so bluetooth is on rescan hopefully it should come up hk9 ultra 2 let's press connect and hopefully that should change into green once it's pairing i need to change the uh the screen time so as you can see it's gone green so that's how you know it's connected and with these when you make phone calls and receive text message notifications you're going to make sure you connect it twice from the settings uh, because uh, that will actually um, allow you to make phone calls and I see look at that that's the first one that's gave you animation when it's paired which is really cool so it's actually done it for you which is cool so you've connected it twice you've got it use it accurately uh, let's update it and you've got another uh, advertisement just a quick one you've also got this animation and it gives you a new um loading bar to show you how long it is or how long it will take for it to upload so definitely definitely new upload is complete and it has restarted so we're on the latest version so basically it's some bug fixes whatever it actually said so let's see what kind of new features we have actually got so like i said it has got the dynamic island uh, notifications on the box it's actually showing you've got ai watch face which we we'll check out and also the new latest 2.0 chat gpt so let's go into dials and let's see um some ai uh, dials so let's go into where is it this one ai watch face use ai voice Hello and welcome to all sorts. Let's see what happens. So it's generating. Hello and welcome to all sorts. Start generating. AI generated dial. Please do not leave the app as it may result in generation <laughs> failure. So basically this is a watch face that's going to actually talk, I'm presuming. So we'll find that out. AI computing in progress. Please open WearFit Pro app uh, for automatic saving of watch faces locally. So it's transferring, as you can see. 13% is going quite fast. So we're going to check it out once this is actually downloaded. This is kind of new to me. So you can go to app device AI watch face let's see that's a new one so I thought you actually get audio but you don't it's actually another AI but you can't actually um, it doesn't actually say anything I thought it would have said something uh, when you actually tap the screen or something like that but it doesn't actually do anything so no idea it's just an ai watch face you can actually add more as well you can add custom ones as you can see right there i need to check the ai properly as well so i'll probably do that in another video or oh, we're going to be here ages just checking all the uh, watch faces as you would see sure pretty sure you could have done something with that that's the sport mode as well but yeah so you got menu wallpaper so obviously basically from behind when you're on your um, your menus if you go to your menu you can change that wallpaper as well so as you can see it's of the earth you can change it to whatever you like which is cool you got a vid uh, video tutorial graphic uh, guide notifications we'll toggle them all on so we'll check that out later application market so look at all of the apps you can download world clock look how many apps you can download and games as well 
check that out that's really good we're going to download racing game on another video maybe a short so make sure you stay tuned for that uh, custom screensaver so you can put an album picture on or you can put a menu wallpaper you can put customize that as well uh, you've got your wallet which has your paypal and also your alipay and wechat let's take that off uh, qr code same again you can put your information on there um you got your reminders weather let's go back card bag so that's like an nfc for your doors and cards and whatever uh, alarm you can actually change everything from here find watch i'm here oh check that out i'm here it actually gives you a voice note saying i'm here uh, ai equis well, whatever let's uh did not say that properly hello and welcome to also so basically i think this is actually a um it saves you hello and welcome to all sorts so you can actually choose some ai um watch faces which you can so music you can add music audio file wherever you want onto the app and listen to it from there or you, it'll go straight onto the watch schedule management your calendar and also you got a firmware update which you've already done mobile permission settings so you can actually all the information gets synced straight from the smartwatch to your smartphone on your app and it just gives you a guide on your health but like i said the, uh, the health apps are not accurate so don't actually uh, rely on that but overall it's a really really good smartwatch let's see what happens when we make a call so you have you haven't got the name but you've got the number let's send a text message now and let's see what happens and as you can see also it says subscribe to all sorts clear away so there's one thing we didn't check is when we uh, went into settings so let's go back into menu and let's show you what you can actually change when it comes to settings so you can put your personal information in um that's loaded uh, let's go back into settings that's the problem with this smartwatch uh, notify you can notify red dot reminder notification bright screen uh, show full notifications which you can toggle them on and off universal uh, shows you about where fit 6 hk9 ultra 2 that's the bluetooth name that's the system as well connect phone uh, you got your language restore and restart shutdown you've got do not disturb mode you can toggle them on and off and also use the time as well you've also got uh, display and brightness so you can put your display all the way to the top and if you see that look looks really nice turn your wrist to um, to wake the phone cover screen off you can toggle that on and off no idea what that is um, you've got constant light as well uh, font size you can change your font size to big or small which that's a first for some smart watches screen off time is 10 seconds we'll change that to 20 wake up screen you can do it always 50 minutes later or 60 minutes later which is cool swiping it back we'll uh, go to sound and touch so you can toggle or swipe whatever you want to on your uh, sound and touch call uh, ringtones haptic reminder default powerful and you've got your crown tactic uh, tactile as well so you can actually make a sound when you're um, turning the crown which is cool let's go back you've got your gesture control uh, when enabled you can use gesture control to answer incoming calls and turn off uh, quickly turn off loud alarms so how do we do that we're going to try it out um and you've got that uh password you can set a password for your lock screens uh key definition so you can uh, down key for double uh, press or voice assistant or your side key you can change it to whatever you like let's go back into settings you got your battery it shows you 81 percent which is really good because i've actually been using this and it's a really good battery very good battery time settings uh, currently connected to the app so the time cannot be set uh, you got your sleep sport so it just gives you the settings of your sports and also your sleep as well you can uh, choose what time you go to sleep bedside clock 
you can toggle that on and off it's it's really annoying when it goes back to the top so you got your menu theme and you can also change your menu wallpaper which you got you got to toggle on and off custom wallpaper so let's go all the way back to the bottom smart island we've put it on so when turned on when the device has the relevant function prompts there will be an interesting interaction at the top of the of the dial page so i wonder what that is because we've already made a text message and it doesn't show anything so uh, secondary screen settings split screen that was what i mean so you can put split screen or the uh, shortcut screen so you can change that health reminder you can put some reminders on for reading drinking whatever you like uh, power saving mode you can toggle that on and off it shows the 80 percent, so we don't need to do that at the moment and you've got your help guide which is first so it shows you how to help it but what we need to check is wait if we're gonna so that's everything else so what we need to check is gesture control so we've switched that on now let me try and make a phone call right i've tried using the gesture control but it's not actually working so overall i need to make another video on that so i'll do a short video but yeah we uh, overall the watch is really really cool one thing we didn't actually check out was the um, chat gpt 2.0 so you've got intelligence creation uh, so fitness plan so if you want fat loss shape uh, if you want to uh, gain muscle let's do fat loss speech recognition so yeah i want to lose weight no results yet so yeah it's got healthy eating uh, fat loss meals speak recognition what is healthy food no result yet so yeah that's uh i think i need to get used to that one as well so the chat gpt smart q a uh, smart memo no content yet what is the best channel on YouTube? No result yet. So I need to, it needs to get time to get used to that. But overall, a really, really good smartwatch. Is this the uh, best smartwatch uh, at the moment? This Ultra 2 HK9? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this long video of this HK9 Ultra 2. Uh, if you have got any questions about the watch, if you want to see any other features, let me know in the comments and hopefully I will make another video for you. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you again for another video.